The first daily habit that makes me a six-figure eBay seller is this right here. I just reflect on my goals, what we're trying to do for the month ahead. So let's dive into the numbers and I'll show you where it's at. So our monthly revenue target is $12,500. If we have a look at the numbers right now, we're so far on $7,150. So that means we're sitting at $376 per day in revenue, but we need to be averaging $403 per day. This is a very, very important daily habit because it sets the tone for what's ahead. We know that we need to level things up to try and get our numbers up to the $403 a day that we need. The other thing that I wanna show you guys is just a breakdown on last week's revenue. So if we have a look at the graph, there were three sort of quieter days, albeit Monday was actually a really good day. I should just say two quiet days. Uh, but then I did a bulk purchase. I did a big bulk buy. And as you can see, every single day from then on, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, with really good quality listings going in, we're able to achieve over budget days. So we need 403 a day. And as you can see there, every single one of them is going over. So I just thought that was a really interesting, uh, I guess, look at the data um, because I was kind of scratching for listings in the couple of weeks prior. And those lower days around the $200, $100 mark is what I was experiencing at the start of the month. And then when this big haul has come in, I've been able to list them up and our numbers have just gone back up. So interesting stuff there, but a daily habit. You got to check your data. You got to know where you're at and where you're trying to get to. The second daily habit that I always like to prioritize is the shipping. You really wanna make sure you're doing that before anything else when it comes to eBay. Now, being a Monday morning, we've got 34 sales to get into. It's been a really good weekend, a lot of great sales. I'm gonna show you guys what we ended up selling and the first category that we're gonna get stuck into is the shoes. Three really good pairs of shoes have come through over the weekend. We had a total of five shoes that sold. I spoke about these in Thursday's video and I was really wrapped to see them actually come through in a very, very quick space of time. The Macbeths, these are the Tom DeLong Blink 182 band shoes. We've got $100 plus $25 worth of shipping for these guys. They were a rare shoe. I don't think you can get your hands on them too much. There was no surprise that this went over to the USA. That's where they've originated from. If you can find this brand, you're gonna make over $100 every single time. So that was awesome to see come through super quick. These ones here, guys, I don't know if you know about this brand, but the brand is called Ultra. It's ultra running shoes. They're kind of like trail running shoes. Um, these ones came through for, again, another $100, plus we got some international shipping on them as well. So uh, they are pretty much brand new, which obviously helps the resale value. But that was really cool to see too. And then have a look at these, the Air Max 97s. Uh, these have come through for, I think it was $136. Um, awesome shoe, probably could have got a few more dollars for them. They're in, again, light new condition. Notice how these shoes are all in very, very good nick. That's how they sell. If they're pre-owned and they're worn away, they don't quite sell as quickly. But these ones here are some of the very best. And we had two other pretty good shoes as well. video game category. These are the two best of the bunch. We've got Forza. This is the limited collector's edition set, Forza 4. It's actually got a booklet and a steel case. So just a couple of little advantages to be looking for when you're out in the thrift. Uh, it comped up to be slightly more than just the standard game. And we got a $38 sale price on that one there, which was cool. And then another Nintendo 64 game here that's gone on to sell too. So this is Power Rangers Rescue. We've got this one in the eBay store buyout and we got a $35 sale price on that one there. So it was two out of the four, but two really good quick winners. Uh, all right, clothing is next. We had five sales come through. This one was an absolute ripper. We've got the Western Force. It's player issued. And the reason I know it's player issued, I don't probably need to tell you guys because I harp on it a lot on this channel, but that's a little GPS pouch. And that means that the players were issued with this jersey. Now, it doesn't have a name or a number on the back, 
But just because of that pouch, I know that I can list it up as player issued and you're gonna get a few more for it. We've got a $75 sale price on this one here and I picked it up very, very cheap. I can't remember exactly how much, but I got it for a steal. And because of that, I got a lot for it. Alright guys, the DVD category, my favourite category to sell, uh, three really good items that I want to take you through here. The first one is Yellow Beard. We got this off Gary just last Thursday, uh, and that was a $28.95 sale price. So it's a movie that I didn't know too much about, but the comps on eBay were telling me around about $30. And sure enough, in two days, $30 sale price came through. So that was awesome. Um, this is a big bolo one to find, guys. Storm Chasers. If you can find this, this is just a season 2011 version. We got $55 for it, and that's exactly what the comps on eBay were saying. So 55 bucks for a single DVD, I'll take it. I only paid 50 cents for that. And then uh, Rich Man, Poor Man, we've got the complete, I think it's just series one here. Uh, it came in two different DVDs, listed it up as a bundle, and we got a $50 sale price on that. Plus, I think there was about $25 worth of international shipping, and I think it's off to the UK. Um, so it should cost around 25 to ship it off. So that was an awesome sale as well. In total, we had 15 DVD sales come through. So it continues to be our best selling category. And we're just gonna keep listing up a whole heap more this week. We have just had an offer come in for this thing right here. This is a Dominic Wilkins USA Basketball Jersey Auto Card. So that's his jersey, that's his autograph. I didn't know anything about this card, but Jacob, one of the subscribers of the channel, came over the other day and he bought a bunch of cards off me and he gave me some knowledge. He said, these are the sort of cards that you wanna be looking out for. He said, not that I was aware, that it was worth about $150 and we've just had a counter offer come in for a hundred bucks. Now, Courtney here is the chief executive. She is the CEO of this, of this show. What should we do? We've got a $100 offer and we're listing it for 150 bucks. Should we accept it or should we counter? How long have you had it listed? A week. Counter. Count how much? 125. 125 bucks? Yeah. Or 120, if you've already done 129. 120? Yeah. All right, done. All right, now the third daily habit probably won't shock you, but um, if you're a new seller, maybe it will. You've got to be listing up every single day. We all know that, but I think the key to being a really successful seller is to actually have a bank of scheduled listings allocated and stored away, ready to go. You might be sick, you might be away, whatever the case may be, something might get in the way on a particular day. And if that is the case, you're gonna to have to have that scheduled bank of 20 to 30 to 40 listings that you can rely on to pull in and have go live just to keep that algorithm ticking along. The algorithm wants you to be putting in new listings every day and that's a good way to counter a bad day if you come across one. Now, I didn't do that over the last couple of weeks. I actually relied on going out on that day to find the listings I was to list up that day. We actually even did a vlog last Monday of being in that situation. Uh, but then on Thursday, we got a really good buyout opportunity and I don't wanna fall into that trap again. I wanna make sure that we're listing up enough items to have maybe three to four days worth of 20 listings a day banked up into eBay. And I think that way you'll always make sure you've got listings going live and you'll have sales coming in. This has got to be some kind of a record. Have a look at it. Big postage day today. Nice to see it filling up. Hey guys, so Matt's just doing the post. So I wanted to take this moment to say that we're trying really hard to get to 20,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, then hit the subscribe button and we'll appreciate it a lot. All right, we've dropped the post off. We are now at the local thrift store and we need to get into habit number four which is a daily practice. And what is it, Courtney? Always learning. Always learning. Always learning new things, um, which is exactly what we do in the thrift as much as possible. I mean, we know all the categories that sell well, but then we want to find new categories or new items within those categories uh, that we may have not known about before. So we're here at the first store. Let's get into it and hopefully we can find a few things. 
This is usually our lucky store. We've found some crazy things in this DVD rack, but right now, right now we haven't found anything. Give this one a go. I reckon this one could be good. Dark shadows. Hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> All you need is one to come up with a price point and you'll win. Oh, are you sure about that? That's the one you want to go with? Yeah, out of these. Okay. Good did luck. you do walking with dinosaurs? You did. Oh. Why is that one 20? This is new. Oh, it's new. So what are the other ones? Seven. Not good. Ba -bow. Well, that was absolutely brutal. We were in three stores to try and find some, not only new stuff, but even just some good stuff that we already know about. And we've come away with absolutely nothing. Zero from three stores. So, Luckily, we've got a bunch of stuff at home that we can list up. But uh, yeah, definitely definitely a tough, frustrating day on a thrifting front. So while there was nothing in store, what I mean by being curious and always learning is just trying to jump into new categories that you haven't done before. The action figure category for me has been a real eye-opener over the last couple of weeks, and I was kind of given a bunch of action figures as part of a bulk deal. And Courtney and I have been listing them up for, well, the last, pretty much the last couple of weeks, and there's been some pretty consistent sales coming through for sale prices that I would never have assumed. For single small action figures, you know, $20, 30 each. And you can readily find them at garage sales, flea markets, and thrift stores for a dollar or two. So now I'm in the position where I'm actually looking for a, a category that I would never have otherwise if I didn't get that opportunity to learn from a, a big bulk listing that came in. So always be curious. It's a daily habit for me. I'm always searching up stuff to see what it's worth rather than just taking it for what it is and then finding out later on that it's a bad item. Um, so if you put in that time to do your research and be curious, uh, you'll be amazed at what you'll be able to find. All right, guys, we're back home. We've got, uh, how long we got left in the day, Courtney? 50 minutes? 50 something minutes. So the clock has begun for an hour of power to end the day. Hopefully we can smash just a ton of listings and get that bank that we talked about in this video. Get 30 to 40 scheduled up. Um, we just had a sale come through. This one right here, Calgary Flames. Courtney picked it up in a thrift store in last Monday's vlog. Uh, we only paid $3 for this and we've just got a $45 sale price. So pretty stoked about that. I did want to wear it a couple of times before I sold it, which won't be the case. Uh, we're going to put this one into a cardboard box and shoot it off in the post tomorrow. But for now, we're going to finish this day off strong by listing up all of these items. Fingers crossed the goal is for 15 listings. Let's see how we go. Guys, right on five o'clock, we've had a $209 day today coming in, um, and we've actually got, after a big hour of listing, 12 scheduled listings, which is awesome to see. So if we can build that 12 up to, say, 40, uh, making sure that 10 go up every single day, I'll be pretty stoked about that. But the number's are looking great. We've still got a bunch of stuff to list up. So all of this from last Thursday's video is still to go live. So there's a whole lot of stuff still to pick from. That's all got to go to the op shop still though. So it's just going to be all of this stuff here to keep us working through. So that's really why having that scheduled bank of listings is going to really come in handy. When the thrift store was no good today, we've got all of this stock to now list up and keep ourselves ahead of schedule. Hopefully you got some value out of those four daily habits that we do every single day to try and generate these six figures as an eBay reseller. Um, if you missed this video right here, it's a beginner's guide. It'll help you out there if you're just starting out. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this one. Make sure you subscribe. Like Courtney said, we're trying to get to 20,000 subs. Look forward to seeing you in the next vid. We'll see you soon.